Hello everyone, this is Green Club. In honor of Earth Month, we would like to educate you guys on sustainability. So in this presentation, we're going to give you the gist of what sustainability is and how we can live sustainably. There are two main factors that play in, in sustainability. One is the ecological footprint, our ecological footprint, and two is the biocapacity. With the ecological footprint, is, is it's the amount of resources um, that humans consume or take away from the environment. Biocapacity, on the other hand, is the amount of resources that the environment can produce. So let's take an apple tree as an example. Let's say you had an apple tree in your back, backyard and it produced 10 apples a day. And you ate one apple a day. So you took an apple um, and then nine apples were brought and went to the ground each day. Um, so you decided to share with your family. So now five apples were eaten and five were left. This, uh, this relationship is sustainable because the rate in which you are eating up, you and your family are eating apples, um, is less than the, than the rate in which the apples are produced. Now let's say you share with another family and all the apples are consumed, okay? This relationship is perfectly sustainable because the rate in which the apples are produced equals the rate in which you eat the apples. But now let's say that uh, the, the your neighbors decided to share with their friends without asking you. This relationship is no longer sustainable because the, the tree can no longer produce enough apples uh, to satisfy your consumption. So the rule of thumb is that if the ecological footprint is greater than the biocapacity, uh, you are not living sustainably. So let's look at the data of um, of our ecological footprint throughout history. Um, so we can see that there's a steady trend how, and we can see that the ecological footprint has been raising um, and it continues to be raising. Uh, this is mostly due to the amount of carbon we put, we burn and put into the atmosphere and the amount of cropland we use by, um, by cutting down trees and creating deforestation. Uh, th this plays into the ecological footprint. Uh, let's look at our ecological co footprint compared to our biocapacity. Um, so we can see that in the late 1960s, we, are, we were already consuming faster than the Earth could produce, re uh, generate resources for us. This means that we have been living unsustainably since then. And eventually, if we keep on, on this path, uh, we're going to run out of resources. An interesting fact is that from 1961 to 2010, our natural income, which is the amount of resources that we take from the environment, has increased by 140%. Also, in 2010, we were already using the equivalent of one and a half Earths. This means that it would take one and a half years for the Earth to regenerate all the resources that we took, that we took from it in only one year. If you'd like to learn more about this, please check out our blog. Uh, we make we make a blog post every week, or we try to, um, and in that blog post, please click on the link on the bottom, which will show an ecological footprint calculator, so so that you can find out your own ecological footprint, find out if you live sustainably or not, and if you don't, set a goal for yourself, um, for the rest of Earth Month, and tell us how it goes. Um. Also, if you haven't done so, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.